Hello. The Made Smarter Northwest pilot was launched two years ago to encourage, to incentivize, and in part to finance the adoption of digital technologies by SME manufacturers. The conference on Wednesday, March the 10th, is designed to celebrate this two-year milestone and to look ahead at what happens next. I'm joined by Jürgen Meyer, whose campaign for what became the establishment of the Made Smarter Commission uh, by the government led to this Northwest pilot. Jürgen, looking back two years, you must be feeling very proud of what has been achieved. I am proud because it is a, a movement that uh, many manufacturers came together on, um, were passionate about, and we now have it live. You know, you mentioned the name pilot. It's way beyond the pilot um, with literally um, many hundreds. As a matter of fact, we're over a thousand companies now engaging in the scheme and uh, actively adopting more advanced digital technologies and improving productivities uh, of their companies. Well, that's uh, that's just tremendous. So, I mean, I'm, I'm really pleased with progress. It was a long haul. I think uh, I remember my eyebrows popping up when you once told me that you'd been at this 10 years uh, trying to raise awareness of this, trying to get the UK uh, aligned in terms of technology investment uh, with our G7, G20 competitors. Um, do you still feel that there is a, 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 a lot of friction, a lot of drag in the UK economy? that uh, makes you wonder why we have to fight so hard uh, to get advances like Made Smarter? It is true that uh, for, for many decades, um, you know, we, we just have seen uh, manufacturing and technology companies not quite for the value that they really deliver to the nation. And when I say we, uh, I don't mean us, the manufacturers, you know, I mean, um, policy makers and, uh, and politicians. Um, we've just seen it in the, the budget of, uh, of yesterday. Um, there was much more there about broad service industries, about arts, culture, restaurants, uh, many industries. And don't get me wrong, I mean, any economy needs all of that. But the natural place where our policymakers go is very often not manufacturing. So we have to fight hard uh, for our corner. Um, I think we've made a lot of progress, but we're going to have to keep fighting. There is no doubt about that. Well, in terms of the future of Made Smarter, we're celebrating two years now, and uh, there is more cash being made available uh, in the Northeast and in Yorkshire. There was £8 million announced by uh, Bayes the other day. Uh, Obviously, the big question is, are you confident that this is the programme that will go national? Um, yes, I am. And, uh, and actually, the innovation part of the programme, um, which is all about creating some of these new technologies, um, like uh, the digital twins within uh, factories, uh, or the augmented reality systems we need, or indeed the systems integration of many of these great technologies. That program is well and truly national um, with competitions that companies can apply towards innovation grants through Innovate UK. Um, so it's the adoption piece that we're now scaling up uh, nationally. Um, and, uh, and I do believe that this is the programme that hopefully very importantly, the industry, but also our policymakers get behind to make this the, the intervention that we use to, uh, to support manufacturing across the UK. Well, you mentioned that uh, many hundreds, if uh, possibly topping a thousand uh, companies in the Northwest have uh, so far taken advantage of the, the very generous uh, assistance and subsidy on offer from uh, Made Smarter. Let's hear now from Chris Lever of Bindertex, uh, who was one of those companies who applied for assistance from Made Smarter. Uh, and let's see uh, what it did for his company. We found Made Smarter to be a great opportunity to um, introduce in Industry 4.0 to our business. Uh, having the funds available to invest um, and be able to claim part of the money back was just a, such a game changer for us because it's technology that as a small business, we wouldn't have been able to afford ourselves and it's had significant impacts on productivity within the business. So what changes to your business did the Made Smarter support enable? We always found the need that we needed a, a digitised data capture system. 
in the past where you've recorded all the data in the world, it's all been handwritten, filed away, and when you need to get access to that information quickly, it's very, very difficult to do in time consuming. So the Made Smarter program helped to fund um, a data capture system, which is tracking all the productivity throughout the, the factory. Um, it's given us good insight into productivity, how long jobs are taking, scheduling of jobs. It's also out helping us to cost jobs uh, when they reoccur and ensure that we've made you know, the, the margins we, that we expect to do. What does Blindertex do? How many people do you employ? What kind of size are you? Yeah, we're a small business. Uh, we employ 15 people, um, but we're in a, quite a niche market. We're cutting composite materials for aerospace. Uh, that's the main focus of our business. Uh, we're a service, manufacturing service business, if you like. Um, and we work for a lot of aerospace manufacturers throughout the UK and Europe and um, our exports growing as well, um, which I think would be benefited with Made Smarter. Uh, we've got the data that we need for the customers when we need it, and we can track the progress of jobs through the business. Well, that all sounds very encouraging. You sound very typical of... Uh many, many thousands of uh, manufacturing companies across the UK who are at the very heart of our sector. Given the experience you've had with Made Smarter and the adoption of digital technologies, would you recommend other companies your size uh, to take this, this leap uh, to improve productivity? Yes, I'd definitely recommend Made Smarter to other um small businesses like ourselves or even um, larger entities. Um, it helps, well, we found that it helps you invest in that technology, which you probably wouldn't invest in if you didn't have any help uh, because, you know, the, the uncertainty of what benefits it would bring you. So, yeah, I would definitely recommend to anyone who's thinking of looking at Made Smarter to, to just go for it, speak to the advisors at Made Smarter. They're, they're very helpful They'll help you along with your application. At the end of the day, they want you to improve your business with, you know, new technology and digitization. So I just definitely would recommend it. Well, isn't it brilliant to have such a happy customer um, of uh, the, uh, uh, the the scheme, the program that we've developed? And actually, the beauty of this movement is is that it's all about stories like that one we just heard there. And the more of these stories that we can tell and we can come together on conferences like um, we, we are going to have, um, the more it infuses more and more people to come on board. And that's how we create the fourth industrial revolution. Well, the conference, uh, Jürgen, is uh, Wednesday, uh, this coming Wednesday, and uh, it starts at about nine o'clock. Full details on the Made Smarter website. Uh, and the link is just below me here. Uh, Jürgen, thank you very much indeed for all you've done uh, for manufacturing, uh, trying driving this Made Smarter movement. We really appreciate it. We look forward to seeing you on Wednesday. Uh, and for those of you watching now and going to join us at the conference, goodbye for now. We'll see you soon.